jealousy. Jealousy is a cancer. Jealousy is worse than HIV. Jealousy is a venom and a poison that anyone who has it and lives very close to you is showing you that you are close to death. Jealousy. Jealousy. It's a strange spirit. It can eat up anybody at any time. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 34. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 34. For jealousy is a rage. Is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. <laughs> Put verse 35. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest many gifts. Jealousy is a rage. Any man who has jealousy will not rest. Give him all the world. He will still want to kill you. Carry all your car. Give to him. He will want to kill you. Jealousy. Put, look, look at verse, 10, verse 35. Look at what jealousy. Some of you are trying to please somebody. They can, any man who jealous you can never be pleased. Put verse 35. That's what jealousy is. Say he will not regard any ransom. Tell him that please just take this and spare my life. He will he want to take vengeance. Look at look at the part. He will not regard any ransom. Neither will he be content. Though thou givest many gifts. Give him everything in this world. As far as your name is Joshua Igila. Give him everything in this world. As far as we are promoted in that office. Give him everything in this world. As long as your ministry is selling. Give him everything in this world. As long as you are the one that married that man. Give her anything in this world. As long as you are the one that is rich in the family. They will not take ransom. They will not be content. Many gifts cannot quench the water of jealousy. Some of you are trying to please people that will not be pleased. The danger, your problem is not that you are bad. Your problem is that somebody is jealous of you. Can I say this? When somebody is jealous of you, no matter how righteous you are as a man of God, you will find fault. That is why most pastors are fighting us we are only few in Nigeria that are doing deliverance. When I mean deliverance, I'm not talking about all this charge and bail deliverance. I'm talking about real deliverance. We are few. And check our life. We are really under attack. Why? Jealousy. Jealousy. A great, a great man of God in Ibadan, doing very great. Power of God was moving in the 90s. Great. In the early 99, 2001 and 2, great man. So some men of God say, why are you doing power? Why are you performing miracle? Why are you doing deliverance? They started attacking him, attacking him. So do you know what he did? He left his deliverance ministry, left everything in order to please them. And after he did that, he went down to zero level. These men of God who criticized him were the ones that came back and said, Ichabod has taken place in his life. People who are jealous of you. They are not jealous of you because they know you are wrong. They are jealous of you because they can't stand you.
Jealousy is dangerous. When you see a man that jealous, you go far. The first death that happened on earth happened as a result of jealousy. And it happened between two blood brothers, Cain and Abel. And what was the issue? God accepted the sacrifice of Cain, uh, of Abel, and rejected that of Cain. That was all. And when God asked Cain, where is thy brother, Abel? He said to God, am I my brother's keeper? There are so many people pretending with you, going to the field, they will not rest until they squeeze out your blood. Who is jealous of you? What have you done? You have not done anything. The, the offense you have committed is because you are who you are. The offense you have committed is because you are promoted. The offense you have committed is because you are lifted. They never believe that you are going to be where you are. But God passed them. Am I talking to somebody here? Jealous. 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 There are people that will never be satisfied with what you do. Put your head down. Lift up your hand. Turn and roll before them. As long as you are in the position where you are, they will see everything wrong with you. Carry all your life. Put in their hand. As you are going, they will see wrong. Behave like them. Walk like them. They will see wrong. Preach and teach like them. They will see wrong. Give all your property to be born. They will see wrong. Use all your life to pursue them. They will see wrong. Because why? It's not that you are wrong. It is called what? Jealousy. Someone say jealous. When a man is jealous of you, look at how Saul pursued David. Pursue, pursue, pursue. All through his life, he was pursuing one man. He refused to rule Israel. He started pursuing one man. Can I tell you what jealousy can do? Jealousy can make somebody you thought is a general. He will leave his assignment and you become his assignment. You don't hear me. <laughs> hey, put your hand on your head and say, I'm too important. <laughs> say, I'm giving some people headache. I have become their assignment. As they are pursuing me, I have taken over the assignment. Ah, am I talking to some David here? As some soul are pursuing you. Their assignment has been all over to you. Am I talking to some David here? None of you shall die as a result of jealousy. Please, don't allow anybody to make you feel guilty. Family member, after you have given them all your life, they are still saying you are bad. Don't allow your worker to make you feel guilty. After you have promoted them, lifted them up, it is not about the promotion. It is about who you are. Give them car, they will complain. Give them money, they will complain. Give them accommodation, they will complain. Satisfy them, they will complain. Sponsor their children to university, they will complain. Do you know why? They want to become like you. And they cannot be you. And you cannot change because of them. Am I talking to somebody here? It is called jealousy. 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 Why are they praying on water? Why are they praying on fire? Why are they praying on air? Why are they staying up till now? Is it your stress? Please, why are we staying? Are we in the shrine? Are we not in the house of God? I thought today is Sabbath day. And we are dedicating it. We're in Israel. 
And when they say Sabbath, it is so very important. Including the lift in the hotel where I stay, the lift was on Sabbath. They lift, they refuse to allow the lift to work. That the lift is out, the lift is observing Sabbath. That's how Sabbath means to them on Saturday. The rest, the day of rest, none, all shops, everything closed up. Not the hypocrisy we are having now. I'm going to church on Sunday. I'm going to church on Sunday. As we are going to church on Sunday, is it not supposed to be a day for God? Six days you have been parading doing all your life. God said, give me one day. And that one day, you are sharing it. The pastor is checking time. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, quickly. It's time, it's time, it's time. Let's go quickly, let's go quickly. Sermon, 10 minutes. Quickly, quickly. Praise and worship, three minutes. They are timing God as if they have they are become timekeeper of God. Everything, quickly, 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 quickly. There are businessmen on Saturday, on Sunday, businessmen. What kind of business is that? Let's do the thing quickly, 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 quickly. They will never forget to collect tithe and offering. And as they collect tithe and offering, church don't close. Somebody shout fire. fire. I prophesy to you.